welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa, and today's recipe is going to be quite different from what I usually do because this is a very healthy recipe, and not only that, you can eat this and so can your dog actually, which is pretty exciting. Now a lot of people say that necessity is the mother of all invention, and that is so true because I had to do a, well I didn't have to, but I chose to do a sugar and carb cleanse where I didn't eat refined sugars and refined carbs. So with that, I had to give up my sweet treats and desserts for breakfast, which was honestly torture for me. And after like two or three days of doing it, I did it for 10 days. I said, no, I have to think of something that I can do in order to still get that sweet treat for breakfast without having those processed white carbs and flours and things like that. So without further ado, let's get started and let's make these healthy refined sugar and refined carb free cookies that you and your dog can eat. One of the most important ingredients in this recipe is peanut butter. It is essentially a peanut butter cookie and all you will need is three quarters of a cup. Now the important part about this peanut butter is that it has to be natural peanut butter, meaning it doesn't have any added sugars or oils or things like that. It is essentially 100% just ground up peanuts. And I use the creamy kind because I like the texture in this recipe. So that is going to the bowl. And with the peanut butter, I'm going to be throwing in one egg. I just use one large egg and that works great. Now the sweet part comes from two parts in this recipe, but the most important thing is the honey. I'm using a natural honey. It is not that processed honey that essentially is just sugar. This is really natural creamed honey. You can of course use liquid, but I like creamed in this recipe. And it is really great and honey is so good for you and it has so many benefits. So I just use two tablespoons of honey. And for me, that is sweet enough. Of course, doing the sugar cleanse, I didn't want such a sweet cookie. And essentially you'll be getting basically like a teaspoon in each cookie and I find that to be a great amount. With that I also have two tablespoons of a liquid. I chose to use an unsweetened almond milk. If you would like to use a regular milk or even just substitute this with water that's fine but you will need two tablespoons. Now to that of course these are cookies so they're going to need to rise. We are using baking powder, just one teaspoon and with the baking powder I also have one quarter or one fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. That adds a really nice flavor and it gives a nice warmth to these cookies. If you don't like cinnamon, you can of course sub that out. That is no problem. And now the best part about this recipe, and you might not be thinking of using something like this in cookies, but they are so good. They make your cookies stay nice and soft and chewy and they add such a nice sweetness and that is just dates. These are pitted, so that makes it much easier to chop up, but they are pitted chopped up dates. I use about three in the actual dough and then I have one reserved so that I can cut that up and put them on top of the cookies, which you'll see me do in a second. That adds such a nice and natural sugar to the cookie and they're so delicious guys. So be sure to pick up those dates. These are medjool dates if I'm pronouncing that right and they're so good. Now last thing is just a tablespoon of vanilla extract. You shouldn't really give your dog vanilla extract. I mean, if I were to add this in and give my dog the little tiny cookie that she would get, I'm sure she would be fine. But just to be on the safe side, I add this last. So after I've mixed everything up, I'm going to take out a little maybe tablespoon of the cookie, put that on the side for her, and then add the vanilla extract for me. That way these are cookies for me and my dog, and I know that they are safe to eat. I'm usually using my stand mixer, but this time I'm going to be using a hand mixer for once because this is such a small and simple recipe and I just find that to be good enough to give this a nice mix. Okay, so now that everything is all mixed up, I preheated my oven to 350 and now we're going to scoop out these cookies. I have a little Luna's cookie on the side and I also have an extra date on the side to decorate with. But let's just scoop these out. This should make about six cookies plus Luna's, which is seven. <laughs> okay, so I just placed these cookies down on a baking tray lined with parchment paper. They are quite sticky, so parchment paper is great. They will come off quite easily. Now, since this is a sticky batter, if you would like to form them a little bit better, you can lightly wet your hands with water and form them like that. Now I have my cookies and Luna's little cookie on there to tell the difference and also to make ours a little bit prettier. I'm just gonna place um, one sixth, I guess, of a date on each cookie, just right in the center. 
that will just make it easier to tell the difference between my cookies and Luna's little cookie. Now of course use this as a treat for Luna, it's not a meal replacement by any means, but a little piece of this cookie every now and then is nice, it's kind of nice that I can eat a cookie and so can she at the same time so I don't have to hear her crying for my food. <laughs> So they look pretty cute already. Now they are going to go into the oven at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. I find that 11 minutes is usually the sweet spot, but everyone's oven is different, so you never know. So I'm going to place these into the oven and I'll see you guys back here to show you the finished results and of course to taste them. My favorite part. So from the pan, after about three or four minutes in the pan, I just transferred them over to this wire rack to cool on. That way I can eat them super quickly. So it'll only be a couple more seconds now. And right before I eat them, and even little Luna has a piece, I just wanted to tell you that everything in this cookie, your dogs can eat, but of course your dogs can still have allergies and things like that. So be sure to check with your vet if you're not sure if your dog can have things like peanut butter and so on and so forth. If you guys check out my blog post, like I said, it'll have the exact recipe in terms of ingredients and instructions on how to make these. And I'll talk a little bit more about how these cookies are okay for your dogs just in case. So be sure to check that out in the description box down below. Okay, so I have some of my cookies ready to try. I'm just going to give these a bite. Now the texture of these cookies should be nice and soft and pillowy. If you would like these cookies to be a little bit more dense, you can skip the liquid altogether in terms of the almond milk that I added. You can just omit that. But I kind of like a soft and pillowy cookie because like I said, I eat these for breakfast and I want something nice and hearty in the morning. So here we go, let's try these sugar-free, carb-free, even butter-free cookies. Wow, these are so good. <laughs> these are so soft and pillowy. I feel like the amount of sugar in here is just enough. Since I made basically seven cookies, if you count little Lunas out of this batter, you're essentially getting only a teaspoon of honey, if that, in each cookie. So that is great. You really don't miss the sugar because we have the added sweetness from those dates, which is so delicious. I can't stress enough how good these are and how you really have to try them. But of course, <laughs> since I've been advertising these as a dog cookie as well, I'm going to give a little Luna a taste. Have a little Luna's cookie. Sometimes she doesn't like to eat when I'm holding her, so let's see. I know that she loves peanut butter, so I'm just breaking off a little piece. Oh, she's eating right away. <laughs> she's not even shy and she's licking my hand. So can you tell that your dog will love these? Here you go, bubby. <laughs> it's a nice little treat for you and your dog to enjoy. Sit, give me a paw. Good girl. Here's a little cookie. <laughs> she loves cookies. Look, she even left her beloved dog treat for some of these cookies, so they're Luna approved. <laughs> I'll just give Luna maybe a couple more pieces and that's good. One of these big cookies will probably last like two or three days for little Luna. She doesn't need that much, but it's such a cute little treat and it's really fun at making your dog a cookie. So we just want to say bye for now and thank you guys so much for watching. See you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's staring. She looks like she's staring. Aww. Oh, you're such a cutie. Good girl. You're such a good girl on camera. Okay, so I plopped these cookies. <laughs> plopped. <laughs> she loves peanut butter.